Okay, students, good, good day. Today we're going to create your project 5 for this lesson, Managing Text Flow. So you need your project 5 data files for this project. So let's start with your project one, project 5-1 YMCA newsletter. Format some data for the YMCA into two-column newsletter. So let's get ready and launch your word. Then let's go to your file tab. And then click open. Okay, so we're going to locate your data files. Next, we're going to open Y News file. So we're going to select Y News document and click open. Now let's click enabled editing so that we can modify our document. Next instruction number two, click the show or hide button. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and then click show or hide to display all the formatting character. Next, position the insertion point before the M in the heading Mother's Day Out. So before Mother's Day Out. Next, instruction number four, on the page layout tab in the page setup group, click breaks button and select continuous from the menu. So let's go to your page layout group, then page setup, then break, and we're going to select continuous. So this section break continuous is inserted before our Mother's Day out paragraph. Next, instruction number five on the page layout tab on the page setup group, click column button and select two. So let's go to your page layout tab, page setup, then column, and we're going to select two. So did the paragraph or the text is now divided into two columns. Next, instruction number six, position the insertion point before the F in the full soccer heading. Next, on the page layout tab, in the page setup group, click breaks button and select column. So let's go to your page setup tab, page setup group, and we're going to select section break. And we're going to select column. So we are able to move the heading to the next column. Next, instruction number eight on the page layout tab in the page setup group, click column button and click more column. So page layout, page setup, column, and more columns. So our more our column dialog box appear. Instruction number nine in the column dialog box, click up arrow on the width box to change to 2.8. The number in spacing box should adjust to 9. So 2.8 width for the first column and Spacing is 0 0.9. Click the line between the box and click OK. So click line between the box and click OK. So now our document or our document is divided into col columns to columns with a line in between. Next, save the document as YMCA newsletter in this lesson folder on your USB or flash drive. Okay, so first let's go to your home tab and disable the show or hide button.
So this is the first the appearance of our document after it is formatted. So let's go to your file, save as. Of course, we're going to save this in our answer folder. And we're going to save this as YMCA. underscore newsletter and click save and of course close the document and that's it for your project 5-1 YMCA newsletter so let's proceed with project 5-2 computer use policy so you are updating the first bank computer use policy and you need to adjust the flow of text on the page. So let's get ready and open your MS Word. Let's go to your file and click open. So we're going to select your project data files. Next, in our project data files, we're going to select Computer Use Policy, Document, and click Open. Next, click Enable Content so that we can modify your document. Next, instruction number two, scroll to the top of the page three position. Okay, so page three of our document and position the insertion point at the E in the engaging illegal activity. Next, on the home tab in the paragraph group, click the dialog box launcher on the line and the page break tab, click and select window or find control. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group. And line and page break tab. And we have your pagination. We're going to select window or orphan control box. So window or orphan control box. And click OK. So we notice that the bullet number four moves to the third page. Next, position the insertion point at the last line of page three that begins with the anyone obtaining. Instruction number five on the home tab and paragraph group, click the dialog box launcher. So, Home tab, Paragraph Group, Dialog Box Launcher, Line and Page Break tab. And Keep Lines Together Box. So, we're going to click Keep Lines Together Box and click OK. So, again, we notice that the entire bullet D moves to the page number 4. So the this is the the command in order to keep all the lines together for the entire line of paragraphs so that it would be easier to read. Okay, so next instruction position the insertion point before the S and the section ten heading. So we have section 10 heading on the home tab and paragraph group. Click the dialog box launcher and line and page break tab. And of course, we're going to click page break before box. So page break before and then click OK. So the section 10 
moves to the next page. Next. Number eight, place the insertion point at the beginning of the document. So we're going to scroll up or we can press Control Home in our keyboard to move at the first page of our document. Next. Click the Page Layout tab. And in the Page Setup group, click Hypenation button so we're going to click hyphenation button and then click to select automatically hyphenate the document so automatically hyphenate the document next we're going to set the hyphenation option and we're going to change the hyphenation zone setting to 0.5 of an inch with a consecutive hyphen limit of 3 so limit consecutive hyphens to 3 and then click ok Next, instruction number nine, and the first page beginning with the sample computer use policy, select the hidden space mark after March. So on the first page, beginning with the sample computer policy, we're going to select the hidden space mark after March. So let's go to your home tab, show or hide button to show all the formatting commands or character. And then we're going to select a position our insertion point between the March and number 29. So on the insert tab, let's go to your insert tab, symbols group. We're going to select symbol. Next, we're going to click more symbols and click on special character. And we're going to select non-breaking space and click insert. Then click close. So, so we notice that the space turns into a non-breaking space making March and 29 the date together next select the non-printing space mark before 2 in the year and press Control shift bar so again we're going to select the non-printing space between the two and the year and then we're going to press control shift and space bar to turn that into a non-breaking space next instruction number 11 save the document as a new computer use policy in your USBR flash drive. So we're going to go to your file, save as. Of course, we're going to save this in our answer folder. And we're going to save this as new underscore computer computer use underscore policy and click save next close the document
So we're going to press Ctrl W in our keyboard to close the document and leave the word open for our next project. And that's it for your project 5-2 computer use policy. Okay, students, let's continue with your project 5-3 coffee shop brochure. Your supervisor at the Grand Street Coffee Shop asks you to format the information and their coffee menu as a brochure. So let's get ready and launch our work. If it is not already, ready. Okay, so in our Word window, let's go to your file, then click open. Next, we're going to locate our coffee menu in our shop, friends. Select our co coffee menu document and click open. Next, instruction number two, change your page orientation to landscape. So let's go to your page layout tab, page setup, orientation, and then landscape. Instruction number three, position the insertion point before the M and the menu heading and insert a continuous section break. So let's position our insertion point before the letter M. And then let's go to your page layout, tab, page setup group, breaks, and select continuous section break. Next, structure number four, create an, an event to column format using the left column setting. Position your insertion point in the front of the copy and select the text to the end of the document. So let's select. Let's position our insertion point before the word copy and then select all the text from the beginning until the end of our document. Next, position your, uh, we're going to create your the column. So let's go to your page layout, place that up, columns, and then among the choices, select left column so we are able to create a two column for our document next position your insertion point before the end in a personal heading and insert the column break so let's position our insertion point before the letter n of your nutritional information and, and go to your page layout tab, page setup group, break, and then select column break. Next, instruction number six, increase the amount of space between columns into 0.7 inches. The document should fit in one page. So let's go to your page layout tab, page setup group, columns, and then select more column. In our column dialog box, go to your spacing and increase the value from 0.5 into 0.7 and then click OK. So, the document should only fit in one page. So let's check. Let's go to your view tab and then zoom, zoom group, and then one page. So we can see here that the document fits exactly at one page of our paper. So let's go again to your view, zoom, and then 100% to go back into your default view. Now let's disable our show or hide button. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, 
and click Shore Hide to disable the Shore Hide button. Next, instruction number seven, save the document as coffee shop brochure in the lesson folder in your USB or flash drive. And close the file. So let's go to your file, save as button, and we're going to save this as coffee underscore shop underscore brochure. And we're going to save this in our answer folder and click save. Let's close our document. And that's it, student, for your project 5-3 coffee shop brochure. Now let's go with your project 5-4, mom's favorite recipe. Your mom asked you to help her create a small cookbook filled with her favorite recipe that she can share with the family and friends. She has emailed you a Word document containing a few, a few recipes to help you get started with creating a format. So let's get ready and launch our Word if it is not already running. Now in our Word document window, let's go to your file and click Open. Now we're going to locate your recipe data files in our project data file. So in our project data file, we're going to select recipe document and click open. Next, we're going to click enable content so that we can modify the document. Instruction number two, position your insertion point before the C in the chicken pot pie, heading and insert a continuous section break. So before that, let's go to your home paragraph group and show our hide button to enable our show our hide and display all the formatting character. Next, we're going to position our insertion point before the letter C of the chicken pot pie. And let's go to your page layout tab, page setup group, break, and then select continuous to create a continuous section break. Next, instruction number three, position your insertion point before the B in bread and heading and insert the next page section break. So we're going to select breads. Proposition our instruction point for the letter B. And then let's go to your page layout, page setup group, select breaks, and then click next page to move the rest of the text into our next page. Next instruction number four, four position your insertion point. Before the B in the banana, in the banana nut bread, chocolate chip muffins, heading and insert a continuous section break. So we're going to position our insertion point before banana nut bread, chocolate chip muffins, and let's go to your page layout, page setup, breaks, and then continues. <coughs> Instruction number five, position the insertion point anywhere within the chicken pot pie recipe. So we're going to position our insertion point anywhere within our chicken pot pie recipe. Next, format this and the remaining recipe with the main this section in two columns with nine space. When point nine space C, between columns and a line. Okay, so let's go to your page layout, 
five set of groups and then column. Next, we're going to collect more columns and then we're going to make sure that we're going to select two columns with equal width spacing and the space between is 0.9 of an inch. And we're going to select line in between the column and click OK. So it should divide the page into two columns with one with a line between. Next, instruction number seven, position the insertion point anywhere within your banana nut bread recipe. And format this, this and the remaining recipe in bread section into two seven column with nine spacing between columns and a line and the two. So again, let's go to your page layout. A set of group columns, more columns, two columns, even width and spacing, and we're going to set the space, spacing into 0.9 of an inch. Also, we're going to select line in between and click OK. So it should divide our document into two columns. Next is chapter number nine, position the insertion point before the R in a ranch chicken recipe heading and insert a column. So we're going to position our insertion point before the R of the ranch chicken recipe and let's go to your page layout, page setup, group, break, and then column, column break. Next, position the insertion point before the E in the EC pumpkin bread muffin heading and insert a column break. So we're going to position our insertion point in EC pumpkins, bread and muffins. And again, let's go to the page layout, page setup group, breaks, and then column break. Instruction number 11, position the insertion point before the C in the chocolate chuchini bread heading and insert a column break. So we're going to position our insertion point before the chocolate and then let's go to our page layout, page setup group, breaks and then column break. Next, position, instruction number 12, position your insertion point under the very blue berry coffee cake muffins and select hidden space mark. So we're going to select the hidden space mark between the word cream and cheese of the second ingredient, one half or eight inch of package of. And then select, and then we're going to insert and then break in space. So we're going to press control shift space bar in our keyboard to create an unbreaking space. Then click the insert tab in the symbols group and click more symbol. So let's go to your insert tab, symbols group, symbol, and more symbol to display our dialog box. In the ninth ingredient, select the hidden space mark between the word R and the blackberries and add a non-breaking space. So we we'll go to special character. And we're going to locate your ninth ingredient.
frozen blueberries and then we're going to select a head and space mark between the word or and huckleberry then we're going to insert an unbreaking space from our dialog box and click insert In the ninth ingredient, select the added space between the word and it should it should move the or hackle hack berries into the next slide because of the non-breaking space. Next, instruction number 13, click the show or hide button to hide the formatting marks. So let's first close our symbol dialog box. Then let's go to your home tab. Paragraph group and show our height to hide all of our formatting marks. And let's preview our documents. So let's go to your view. Zoom group to pages. So that we can view our, uh, our document to pages at a time. Next, to go back to the default view, let's go to view, zoom group, and 100%. Instructor <clears throat> number 14, save the document as favorite recipes in the lesson folder in our password. So let's go to your file, save as button, we're going to locate our folder and we're going to save this as favorite underscore recipe and click save. Next, close our document. And that's it, students, for your project 5 4, Mom Favorite Recipe. So let's go with your project 5 5, Threefold Blanc, Threefold Bank Brochure. So the chicken choices document needs to be formatted to accommodate the whole document on a one page. Your task is to use the feature learned in this lesson and apply them to this document as shown in our figure 5-21. So we are asked to open our tracking account choices document and format this document according to figure 5-21. So let's launch our Word and let's go to your file. Click open. Then we're going to locate our document in our data files. Next, we're going to select checking account choices document and click up. Next, click enable content so that we can modify your document. Instruction number two, reformat the document using page size of eight and a half by 14 with landscape orientation. So let's go to your page layout tab and let's set the size into more paper size. And we're going to set the height into 14 inches. And then click OK. Next, we're going to change the orientation into landscape. So let's go to your page layout, orientation, and select landscape. Next, change the column to four columns and add a column break before each column heading. 
So we're going to position our insertion point anywhere in our document. And let's go to your page layout. Columns. More columns. And change the number of column into 4. And click OK. So let's try to format our document according to our figure 5-21. And that's it, students. So we are able to format our document into uh, into Figure Five Twenty One. So this is our formatted document, and it is exactly the same as Figure Five Twenty One in our instruction. So for this document, make sure that you have four columns. And each of the column has its own heading. And each of the heading is aligned with each other. Also, you need to insert a column break to make sure that all of the columns is aligned and in the appropriate column. And also make sure that the space between your personal checking choices and your column is in 18 points, just like this one. Also, lastly, we can include or we can add another before 18 points just to make or give space between the first bank and our personal checking choice heading. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and sure hide to hide all of our formatting marks. And this is this uh, and this is, should be the uh, appearance of the final appearance of your document. So let's go to your view, then zoom group, and one page. So. This is the final output for this project. So again, let's go to your view tab and 100% zoom to go back to our default view. Next, instruction number four, save the document as checking brochure in the lesson folder 
in our USBR flash drive. So let's go to your file, save as button, and we're going to save this in our folder with the file name of checking underscore brochure and click save. Next, close the document. And that's it for your Project 5-5 Threefold Bank Brochure. Next, let's proceed with your Project 5-6 to format the YMCA letter, newsletter. So, as an alter alternative to the layout you created earlier, reformat the YMCA newsletter with two uneven columns. So let's get ready and launch our Word and open Y newsletter from our data files for this lesson. Now in our Word document, let's go to your file and click open. Next, we're going to select our project file data files and we're going to open your Y News letter and click open. Next, click enable editing so that we can modify our document. Instruction number two, reformat the newsletter with two and even column using the right columns. So we're going to position our insertion point anywhere in our column. And let's go to your page layout, page setup group column, and then select right column. Next, instruction number three, format the document on one page. Hint, delete the column break in the first column and add a column break in the front of your volunteer coaches. So to see the break, let's go to your home paragraph group and show our height to display all of our formatting marks. We're going to delete this column break. Next, we're going to add a column break in the front of volunteer coaches. So this is volunteer coaches. Next, we're going to add a column break. So let's go to your page layout, page that up, break, and then column. So it moves the uh, heading to the next column. And that's Okay, so for this document, take note that we have two columns and we are using right column for this document. Also, you need to insert a column break before the volunteer coaches need for you to support heading. So this is the actual appearance of our final output. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and click the show or hide to hide all of our formatting marks. And to view our document in one single page, let's go to your view tab, zoom group, and one page. And that's it to this. So make sure that your document fits only at one page. So let's go again to your view tab and zoom group then 100% to return to our default view. Next instruction number four, save the document as write YMCA newsletter in our folder. So let's go to your file, save as button, and we're going to select our folder 
and we're going to save this document as right underscore ymca underscore newsletter and click save finally click the close button to close our document and that's it student for your project 5-6 reformat the ymca newsletter Okay, students, for your project 5, you are expected to submit the following document. Your chicken brochure, coffee shop brochure, favorite recipe, new computer use policy, write YMCA newsletter, and YMCA newsletter. And again, do not forget to put your watermark in every document that you're going to submit in our class and that's it for your lesson five managing text flow for our project thank you for your time and again see you in our next project